This ends in this client likely now facing a lawsuit north of half a million dollars. I want to talk a bit about pre-construction flipping and I highly suggest you go back and watch that entire video because Michelle does a really great job of laying out the numbers and explaining everything really clearly. I especially encourage you to watch it if you're one of those people who's been telling me that nobody ever loses money in real estate or that leverage is a big benefit to real estate investing. Pre-construction flipping is basically where you buy and sell a house before it's even been built. You put a deposit down on a pre-construction home and then sell it before you actually have to close. In this example, we see somebody who borrowed $190,000 against their home to put a deposit down on a new pre-construction home. They thought they were going to make a quick $400,000, but instead they may be now facing a loss of over half a million. This is happening because the appraised value of the home is now less than they originally agreed to pay for it. They weren't able to sell the assignment, but they also don't have enough money to close. If they can't find a way to come up with the money to close, then the builder's going to have to find a new buyer, and the original buyer will be on the hook for all of the costs and price difference associated with that. They stand to lose a lot more than they originally put in, and remember, that original 190000 was borrowed against their home. If you're not aware, there are a lot of distressed deals like this in the GTA pre-con market right now, where people have bought a place but they can't afford to close. I'm starting to work on a full video on it where I'll hopefully be interviewing Michelle and several other people from the industry. But the important thing to understand now is what I've been saying all along, which is that investments come with risks, and it's important to understand all of those risks before you put money down. You can lose money in any investment, even real estate. And when you start engaging in highly leveraged, highly risky investments, things can go very, very wrong very quickly. Anyway, thanks for watching. Go check out Michelle's video and enjoy the rest of your week.